guys, welcome to Talent Sprint. I am Rohit Agarwal and here is your daily dose of aptitude skills. In this session today, we are going to look at the simplest method to get the squares of numbers from 76 to 125. As you must be aware, in the last video, we had looked at how to get squares of numbers from 26 to 75. I hope all of you have followed that and you are using it effectively in your calculations now. And I am sure at the end of this video, you will also be able to calculate the squares of 76 to 125 without having to put anything on paper in just about 3 seconds. So let us look at the method here. Now let us say we have to find out square of 96, right? 96 square. As you know, when the number ranges between 26 to 75, we take the base as 50, 50 plus x or 50 minus x. In a similar fashion, when the number is between 76 to 125, ideally we get the answer uh, very easily by taking the base as 100. That is always split the number in terms of 100 plus x or 100 minus x. So here 96 can be taken as 100 minus 4 whole square, right? Don't try to take it as 90 plus 6. Though it looks to be easy, it will actually get complex. 100 minus 4 is much easier to do. So 100 minus 4 the whole square. Now let's expand it using the a minus b whole square expansion. So 100 squared minus 2 into 100 into 4 plus 4 square, right? That's a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now, since our base is fixed at 100, the first term is always fixed, 100 square, that is 10,000, right? The last term, the third term here is going to be b square, like in the previous uh, video we had looked at 26 to 75, right? The last term is always b square, which is 16 in this case. Now, how do we get the second part of it, 2ab or minus 2ab? See, 2 into 100 is 200. 200 into 4 is 800. So, we can say minus 800 here, right? Because we have a negative sign. Now, how do we understand this in an easy fashion there? Look at it. When the number is between 26 to 75, we had always split it as 50 plus or minus x, right? So, 2 into 50 into x was the second part. But here, we already have a as 100. So, 2ab part becomes 2 into 100 into 4, which is 200 into 4, 800. That means, if it is 50 minus 4, then we would have directly taken as minus 400, right? That is the technique. But since it is 100 here, we need to just double this and then take those many hundreds. So, minus 4 double becomes minus 8, minus 800. If it is plus 6 here and 100 as A, then what do we do? Plus 1200, right? 6 doubles becomes 12 and taken 100 times, 1200. So, that is the idea. Always double the value B here and take those many hundreds to get the 2AB part. Now simplify this part, 10,000 minus 800 is 9,200 plus 16 is 9,216. So the final answer for this question here is 9,216, that is 96 square is 9216. Let us look at a few more examples. Let us say we have to find out 123 whole square. Now what do we do? 123 can be taken as 100 plus 23. Now that we have already looked at the expansion, let us directly try to uh, do the calculation. 100 plus 23, so the first term is 10,000. What about the second term? Plus 23 is our part here, right? B is equal to plus 23. What do we do? Double. 23 doubles, 46. 46 into 100, 4600. And the last term here is 23 squared, which is 529. So 10,000 plus 4600 is 14,600 plus 529 is 15,129. Let's say we need to get what is 84 squared. What do we do? 10,000 minus 3200, right? This is 100 minus 16. So, 10,000 minus 16 doubles minus 32 into 100. So, 10,000 minus 3,200 is 6,800 plus 16 square is 256. 6,800 plus 256 is 7,056. So, as you can see, with a little practice on this technique, you will be able to get the square without having to write anything on paper, right? You just do the calculation mentally in about 3 seconds. So, with this, you know how to get the squares from 76 to 125. I hope all of you have followed this uh, simplest method to get the squares here and you will use it effectively in your calculations from now. Thank you all for watching this video. Click here to subscribe to our channels for more such uh, wonderful techniques on speed maths so that you can improve on your calculations and get your answers really quick in the exam.